The path analysis application will trace a path of a frame through the network at both layer 2 and layer 3. To provide the most detailed path information, it is important that the discovery is complete and the test tool can discover routers and switches using SNMP. This is a powerful tool for ensuring the frame is taking the desired path through the network. Let's begin by configuring the path analysis. I'll bring up the configuration screen by tapping on the settings icon in the upper right corner of the screen. Here I can enter the IP address or DNS name of the target device. In this case, I'll enter the DNS name of my email server. Next, I can select which port on the test tool I'd like to use for path analysis. The available ports will depend on the test tool being used. In this case, I'm using an Etherscope NXG. So I have both wired and Wi-Fi management and test ports available. It is important to note that if you use either of the test ports, you must first run an auto test for that port to connect it to the network. In this case, I'll select any port. Now I need to select the protocol that will be used for the path analysis. This is used for the layer three portion of the test. The TCP protocol will send TCP SYN packets to the target device. This is a great way to ensure no firewall rules are blocking that port and the desired application is running on the target device. Ping will send ICMP echo requests to the target device. In most cases, devices will respond to these requests. You may run into situations where these ICMP echoes are blocked by firewalls or the target device. The other available protocol is UDP echo. This protocol may be used to trace a path to the target device, but the target device will not reply unless it has been configured as a UDP echo server. I want to make sure that port 993 is open on my email server, so I'll select TCP. I'll use the TCP port field to enter the destination TCP port. As I mentioned, I'll be using TCP port 993, which is IMAPS. Now the configuration is complete, I'm ready to run the test. I'll do this by pressing start at the top of the screen. The application will display layer two and layer three devices along the path. For layer two devices to be displayed, such as switches and wireless access points, it's critical that discovery has completed and SNMP is enabled. Without SNMP, the application will not be able to map devices to switch ports. For each wireless access point along the path, we'll see the SSID used and the channel. Tapping on a device will drill in and provide details about the device and connectivity. For switches and routers, where we have SNMP access, the ingress and egress interfaces will be displayed, as well as VLAN information and link speed. It's important to note the level of detail will depend on the device. Once we get out on the internet, the IP address or DNS name of the router is displayed as well as a round trip time to that device. In some cases, we will see split route. This will indicate there's more than one router for the same hop. This can be the result of load balancing across routers. When I scroll all the way to the bottom, we can see the path analysis was able to reach the email server and connect to TCP port 993. If the test tool has been claimed to link live, the results of the path analysis may be uploaded to link live. Tapping on upload to link live, I can enter a descriptive name, comment, and job comment for the test. I can tap on save to analysis files to upload the results.